Hello guys, welcome to Thoughts Party. I hope you are doing well. Um, Today I have a story for you. We have Naomi Campbell and she apparently is claiming that Black History Month is for all. Um, By the grace of God, we thank you Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are On the second day of February, uh, that's the second day of Black History Month. And Naomi Campbell, let me read you her post on Instagram. She says, Black History Month, Black History Month does not have geographic borders in which we celebrate the history. Listen to this. (laughs) The plot thickens. Life and accomplishments of people of colour. This month, we celebrate and recognise all people of colour around the globe, across all generations, industries and significance. Our history and appreciation is one. And she's put a black heart there. What better way to start BHM than with two of my heroes that are etched in my heart, Tata President Nelson Mandela and my papi at Quincy D. Jones, a musical legend of so many industry firsts, becoming the first African-American to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song. Quincy was also the first African-American to be nominated twice in one year and the first African-American to be the musical director and conductor of the Academy Awards Ceremony, in which I had the honour of presenting and giving out Best Costume Award. Thank you, Quincy Jones, for being the trailblazer our culture needs and a massive inspiration in my own life for so many years. And to the great President Nelson Mandela, my tata, the first black South African to hold office in a fully representative democratic election words could not describe the impact you've left on the world and on myself your legacy has activated the deepest level of humanitarianism in so many people across the globe who now dedicate their lives to solving the crisis of institutionalized racism poverty and inequality Thank you for being my hero, a symbol and a constant voice in our heads to keep going. I cherish and I'm forever grateful for the 20 years I got to spend with you. And then she's put hashtag Black History Month, hashtag Quincy Jones, hashtag Nelson Mandela. Now, what on earth? I mean, that was such a lovely post. But the first paragraph just completely... It negates all she's actually trying to say and also contradicts it because, again, I will read the sentence. This month, we celebrate and recognise all people of colour around the globe, across our generations, industries and significance. So when you actually mention all people, you are in actual fact, fact saying that you are celebrating all people, all races, that means white people as well and I'm not sure if you know but the races are black and white uh you may say okay but oriental people are yellow they are not yellow in actual fact there are actually uh, black people within um within Asia but they are hidden and put on the back burner so they actually do not travel so we actually do not see that there are dark black asians uh but they just don't integrate into their society so much so they actually a lot of the times don't travel out so you wouldn't be familiar with them but getting back to the race thing it's black and white so when you do say we recognize all people of color It sounds very contradictory because are you saying that Black History Month should then not really project black people or because it's it's it doesn't really make any sense that you would say recognize all people of color. 
it's really nice that she's paid such a beautiful tribute to Nelson Mandela. I know she always says that Nelson Mandela is like a father figure to her because she was not fortunate to have a father in her life. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely um, words that she spoke, um, that she's posted about Quincy Jones as well. But this is quite controversial do let me know what you think about it and I mean all people of colour this is quite bizarre that she'd put the all in capitals um I'm not actually sure why in this context she'd write all but do let me know your thoughts do you side with what I've said do you not agree do comment below like share and subscribe Let's build this conversation. Let's get our thoughts out there. I know you all have thoughts. Um, and let's just talk about it and get it all out in the open. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will catch you up later on with Unfolding Stories. Thank you so much.